Big Z Reviews. Where the Crawdads Sing is a new romantic uh, crime drama that just came out this past Friday. And I had honestly hadn't seen like any trailers for it, or, like anything about it. And then I looked in my theater and saw that this was coming out and I watched it, watched the trailer and I was like, eh, might as well check it out. And you know, I enjoyed it. I It, it was... It ha it wasn't perfect, but I I enjoyed it. It's dangerous to live out here alone like this. I'm fine. Do something else, ain't you? Miss Catherine Clark is charged with the murder of Chase Andrews. Prosecution has announced it will seek the death penalty. This was directed by Olivia Newman. And it was based on a novel by uh, De Delia Owens. And the, the, essentially the story is that there is a young girl is kind of abandoned by her parents and the rest of her family in the marsh, uh, marshes of the Carolinas. And uh, like she survives on her own. Like she sells muscles and, and like just, you know, becomes a marsh girl. Like everyone in town calls her the marsh girl. And she's kind of like, they don't, like, talk about her or, like, or do anything with her. And she's just kind of living her life in the marsh. And then along comes a really handsome man who teaches her how to read and write. And she, be, and she reads, like, all the books about everything about the marsh and becomes really smart. And then, like, another person comes, like, he leaves, another person comes, and that person ends up dead. And, then, and, and like, that's kind of where the story kicks off and we see everything from the beginning like to the trial and that basically I like like this guy it's, it's so funny though I I'm not the best with names so um I, at the beginning of the film there's this guy that said he's like he's the 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 the, the quarterback you know he's dead found dead like underneath like this old like watchtower like looks like he just fell through a hole in it like the grate was open and he died. But then, like, the police are going to the bar and everyone's uh, gossiping about how it's probably the Marsh girl. And they're like, you know what? We could blame this on her. And that's, they, they, you know, they arrest her. But the thing is, I thought, like, when the movie started, once they transitioned to the older version of Kaya Clark, uh, played by Daisy Edgar Jones, I think she was amazing earlier this year in uh, Fresh. And, um, but, like, she... Like, then introduce, like, a guy that was always around, you know, uh, uh, Tate Walker, played by Taylor John Smith. And, like, I, I didn't, I, I, you know, they said the name of the guy at the beginning who died, but I didn't remember what the name was. So I had the whole time, like, a really beautiful ro romance forming between them. And I thought, is, is he gonna die? Is, is like, she gonna be blamed for killing this guy? And then eventually, he goes to college, and then, like, Oh, and this other guy comes in, who's also another really handsome guy, Chase Andrews, played by Harris Dickinson, and, like, he is, he's, like, um, maybe not as good of a guy as he's pretending to be, and I'm like, oh, this is a guy that she maybe murders. Okay, that makes sense, you know, <laughs> and, but, like, it's, it's kind of interesting because it comes, like, there's a little bit of, like, um, you know, uh, love triangle stuff going on there. And I, I really like uh, Daisy Edgar Jones uh, playing this. But, I mean, there is, like, uh, all the, the young people, like, there's the accents aren't always consistent. But, I don't know, who, who knows what the accent of a marsh girl in the Carolina swamps and marshes would actually sound like. But, um... You know, there's, like, it's, it's honest, and I, I like a lot of it. And it's, it definitely is a, a bit of a slow burn. Like, this movie's, like, over two hours long. And uh, I, I, I liked a lot of it. But the weird thing is that when I watched the trailers, you know, they had, you know, the mystery aspect of the murder. They had, like, the love interest, like, the drama. And they have, like, the, the crime drama, the court drama stuff in it. And then they also try to make it seem like it was a horror movie. And, like, they, like, they had, like, moments of her, like, hiding from them and, like, and the body, but, like, di different, like, they colored and noises. And then, like, as, like, they're making it like, seem like it's a dark horror. And even, like, the poster is, like, a horror movie poster. 
And it's like, I, I watched this, like, there is not a single ounce of horror in this. Like, there's only, like, because, like, uh, Ch- uh, Chase Andrews become, is, a, is, like, a, become the bad guy. And there's, there's only, like, domestic horror slightly in a couple of moments. But it's, like, it, it's weird how they tried to sell it a little bit of a horror film. Like, they didn't know how to sell it, I guess. But um, there is none of that stuff. and But I didn't need it. Like, I still honestly enjoyed it. Like, it's not exactly the kind of movie I seek out. But I, I enjoyed it. And I, I mean, I like that, like, she's, like, she becomes a, she knows everything about the marsh. And she starts, like, to, to write a book. And there's, like, a lot of really nice, honest stuff about that. And the only thing is, like, when the, the bring in the whole court stuff, that kind of, like, it goes, like, she's, like, almost, like, telling the story of all of her life, and then we keep going into bits of scenes of, of the court with her lawyer, um, played by David uh, Straham. Like, but, um, like, that stuff is all just pretty generic. But it's so funny, like, the the court, the, the, the um, prosecution's case against her is, like, so bad. I wish they would have done something to try to make it seem, like, a little bit like she might have done it. Like, they have... They have a hat that is a fabric on his body. But, like, everyone said, like, he's like, this wasn't even a murder. It was an accident. And it was, uh, it was so odd how, like, th- they, they're trying her on no evidence other than that, she's that Marsh girl. She definitely murdered that guy. But, you know, I, I really think that the weakest part of this film is the ending. It's cause not, like, the actual ending, but, like, like I feel like... So many times happens when you have, like, a book, and you have to cut it down to usually an under two-hour movie. They actually gave them a little over two hours, but it felt like once the trial was over, I'm not going to spoil, like, the outcomes, but once, like, things were wrapping up, they're like, and, like, all just, like, cutting together some sort of scenes to give an ending, and it's, like, it was kind of stupid, like, they, it jumps forward in time a little, and it's like, eh... I don't know. It's like, it seemed really rushed. And too, like, I, I kept wanting to see a recreation of what actually happened that fateful night. You know, the night that um, Chase Andrews was killed or died or fell to his death or whatever happened to him. I kept wanting to see a recreation of that and we never got that. Like instead, he got this kind of weird scene that explained what happened, you know, but that... It, to me, is this kind of lackluster and stupid. And, like, I don't know. I'm not sure why I did like that. Maybe, who knows, they probably were running out of time. It's already at two hours you're pushing it. Like, the theaters don't like movie, too many movies being over two hours because you can't show it as many times. But um, I, I still really enjoyed it. And the funny thing is, this is good enough for me to want to read the book because if they were able to make a pretty decent movie out of this book... Like, the book may be amazing. Like, I think I've heard, like, something about the book. I know it was, like, really popular a bit ago, a little bit ago. So I think I may actually give it a shot and read it. It's not the type of book I would normally read. But I think I might give it a shot because if they're able to make a decent movie out of it, it might be really good. You know, that's sometimes what happens. Like, you know, if they're able to make a decent movie out of it, you know? Like, if it was a shit movie, then, eh. It still might be really good. But if it, like... It's tough to to adapt things well. And this was pretty decent. Like, I enjoyed my time with it. It's just, like, the marketing of it is, like, bad. And, uh, but, I, like, I liked all the characters, especially, I like Daisy Edgar Jones. And it's kind of an interesting, like, story about her growing up in the marsh and, and like, kind of fighting for her own like, life and wanting to be, not leave the marsh, just wanting to be the marsh girl. Like, she's not, like... She doesn't, you know, it's, it's interesting. So I did enjoy it. So I'll probably give it like a 7.75 or an 8 out of 10. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.